heard me say about fixing your boat in nice places. Here we go. You see, the problem is the previous owner cut a hole in the bulkhead, which blocks off this step from the engine room. So this step area, including this hole, if it gets compromised, would flood the engine room. When this whole area gets a wash when we're sailing in a bigger sea, uh, and you know through the screw holes or whatever, you know little drips of water get in. So you do need access to bail it out every now and again. So in the engine room, what our man did, and what Utrum are doing all the new boats is they cut this hole. So that's the hole in the aft bulkhead that I'm going to try and block up. And that's the job for today. First up, a drive across Langkawi to the hardware store. And this is the Mali equivalent of B&Q or Home Depot or Bunnings. Looks like something more out of sketch from the two Ronnie's Four Candles. And if you haven't seen that, you really should check it out. Don't do today what you can do tomorrow. And that leads to all kinds of fun. So we drive halfway across Langkawi to find a timber yard, find some old plywood. We buy a sheet and we buy a jigsaw. There's a real risk of loss of limb and blood on this place. Whoops! And uh, got to be careful. So, health and safety to the or to the four. Oh, zip. Watch out for the fingers. Chopped up, squeezed in the car and squeezed in the dinghy. Workshop come breakfast room. So first of all, I'm going to start with some breakfast. Say hello, Anne. Hello, Anne. Always being careful with a jigsaw not to turn your Utremer 51 into an Utremer 50.5. The children don't use power tools beside water. <laughs> we have the wood with the shape cut out. Not cut out, marked out because it can go in square. And then the objective is to fill up the hole in the engine room. Okay, that's the under the step. You can see the step moulding there. That's the bit which is sealed all round. You can see the sealant and if that were to be compromised or under this bulkhead here you know if the rudder which if the boards aren't more than about half down if that hits something the uh, the rudder could pitch up you know as it gets forced back it could pitch up and punch a hole through the bottom here so I'm not entirely sure that it's a great idea to have a hole in a watertight bulkhead so let's fix it. Well, plan A is not going to work because I can't turn around the uh, sheet of board inside the hole so I am going to have to cut it to shape so Where's my jigsaw? So, trimmed to shape. Let's see if that fits. So I squeeze this baby in. And bingo. Bingo. So the plan is to put one on the inside, one on the outside. Foam and sealant around here for a waterproof join same on the outside and then bolt the two together that's the plan so let's go cut the templates so that's two pairs cut to shape just got the bolts now with a rubber washer fashioned to through bolt them so a double track of adhesive foam and in between the tracks I'm going to put the silicon <coughs> like so 
I got a bit carried away with the sealant because I had excess. So rather than chuck it away, I made a couple of extra tram lines of uh, what should be a rubber seal, one hopes. Good morning. Up at the crack of dawn to see what we can do to finish the Black Hole of Calcutta project. Kua at dawn. Quite nice, really. This is plan B for the cunning plan. And what we do is we go along to the local Indian restaurant who go through an enormous amount of washing up liquid. So of course what we found was that I'd put so much sealant on that having sized the bolt just perfectly I hadn't allowed for the width of the sealant. So it was back to the shops to get even more bolts. This is the restaurant where we get our bottles and we also get our roti, roti and a cup of tea. Expertly made, but unfortunately in the lockdown the restaurant is closed. So when it's ready, had its egg chopped up and splattered over it, uh, it's served in not the most elegant of surroundings, unfortunately, because the food's pretty good. But never let it be said, I don't know how to treat a lady right. Lockdown eating on the go. Cup of tea in a plastic bag with our environmentally safe stainless steel straws, but they still give you a straw anyway. And some egg roti, which is red hot. And a little, a little bag of dal. Yum yum. Hot as well. So we had the bolts, we had our lunch, and we got some more bottles. Back to the boat to see our shiny new plates and get them fitted. Fingers crossed. Stage one is looking good, so let's move on to stage two. Well, that's working okay, but uh, I think screws the other way around would be a better idea. So, go try that. For the port hull, I decided I'd glue some nuts in place to see if it was easier to mount, and it was. This lot is going to give some customs officer a hairy fit. Oh, I can't wait. Right, different approach. So this time I've glued the nuts to the other side of the boards for the inside. And that will all go in here, so say goodbye bottles, you're not seeing the light of day for a couple of months. Here we go. Watertight bulkhead in both aft hulls. So I'm quite pleased. Uh, for Keith in SV Leia behind me, or my uh, right shoulder, uh, thanks Keith for being the Jiminy Cricket. Oh, all that needs to be done now is to clean up the mess. <laughs> <laughs> 